Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In our today's video, we will talk about Grade 7, Week 5, Learning Test Number 2, wherein this one is under Loss of Exponent and its application. So, as you can see, uh, we have here Learning Test Number 2, Letter A, wherein you need to simplify this kind of expression using Loss of Exponents. So, I have here 1, 2, 3, 4, and later on, sa part 2 ng video, meron tayong number 5. So, in number 1, we have here the quantity of x raised to 5 to the power of 3, wherein iisipin nyo, uh, what is the law of exponent na applicable sa item number 1 natin? Dito, ang gagamitin yung law of exponent is simply the power rule. Wherein, paano ba ginagawa yung power rule? All you need to do is to multiply the exponents. So, if you have the base of x, you need to copy the variable x, and then simply multiply 5 times 3. Tandaan po ah, yung ganitong itsura ng expression, you will be applying the power rule. So again, all you need to do is to copy the base and multiply the exponents. So simplifying this exponent, it will give you x raised to 15. Ganun lang po simple yung item number 1. Okay? So in item number 2, so dito sabi sa ibang references, ang tawag sa law na gagamitin dito is power of power. Pero isipin nyo lang na parang power rule lang din naman. You have the quantity of 16 d raised to 3 over 4 e raised to 5 wherein, kapansin nyo meron kayong squared sa labas na kailangan nyong i-simplify or i-multiply sa loob. So parang ginagawa yan, you have here 16 raised to 2 times 1. Parang konsepto kasi nito, you need to multiply the exponent 1 by 1. Kasi yung 16 natin, meron siya original na exponent to 1. And then for the variable d, you have d raised to 3 times 2 over for the exponent 4, you have 4 raised to 1 times 2. And then for the variable e, you have e raised to 5 times 2. And then all you need to do is to simplify the exponents. And sa bandang wala, kailangan mo check kung nakasimplified form na siya. So this one is 16 squared. And then your d raised to 6 over your 4 raised to 2. Kapansin nyo kasi na siya, diba? Um, 1 times 2. And then for the variable e, 5 times 2, e raised to 10. Ngayon, Iisipin natin, sir, yung 16 squared ay napakalaking number. So, kailangan ba natin i-multiply yan? Huwag nyo mo nang i-simplify yung 16 squared. Kasi kung mapansin niya, you have here 14 squared. Which is equivalent to 16 squared over d raised to 6. And then, yung, six, yung 4 squared natin is equivalent to 16. Tapos, e raised to 10. Nagawa natin yung separate ano, ang solution natin. Itong 16 squared natin can be factored out as 16 times 16 over 16. Parang ito lang yan. So, pwede nyo makansin yung 16 directly. Tapos yun yung diba? Pag in-expand natin yung 16 squared, again, that is 16 times 16. Over 16, kung sinimplify nyo, your answer here is simply, bagayang natin, simply 16 d raised to 6 over e raised to 10. Ito yung mismong sagot natin for item number 2. In applying power of power or simply power rule naman. So let's move on with item number 3. Ito naman power rule din to kaso nga lang hindi siya fractional form. We have the quantity of 4 x raised to 2 y raised to y z raised to 4 raised to 3. Again, power rule wherein you need to distribute the exponent and multiply it so, for the first base natin, which is 4, meron siyang original exponent na 1. So, that is 4 raised to 1 times 3. Again, pag sinabi natin power rule, imamultiply lang ang exponent. For the variable x, you have x, copy your base x, raised to 2 times 3. And then the y, originally meron siyang exponent na invisible 1, you have 1 times 3. And then for the variable z, you have z raised to 4 times 3. And simplifying your exponents, medyo gipit na tayo sa space, you have 4 
raised to 1 times 3, that is 4 raised to 3. Next, you have your x raised to 6, as a 6 times, uh, sorry, 2 times 3. For the variable y, y raised to 3. And then your z is equal to, raised to 12. Pero hindi pa tayo tapos ha, kasi pwede pa natin simplify yung 4 raised to 3 natin. At pag sinabi natin 4 raised to 3, yung exponent, siya yung nagsasabi kung ilang beses natin kailangan i-multiply yung base natin by itself. So, yan ay 4 times 4, that is 16, times 4, it will give you 64, x raised to 6, y raised to 3, g raised to 12. This is the correct answer for item number 3. And for the second to the last expression natin, we have here the fourth given expression, 5 x raised to the fourth power, y cubed, z, times 6x, y raised to 4, z raised to 3. Ngayon, simple multiplication lang ito sa ka-product rule for the, for the variables. For 5 times 6, that is 30. Ito ha, baka malito kasi kayo dito. Dito kasi ang setup dito sa number 3 sa number 4. Meron kang exponents ng bawat base mo at meron ka pang exponents sa labas. Dito naman, simple multiplication lang ito. Now, for the variables, focus tayo sa x. Since pares sila ng base, they have the same base, copy your base, at ang rule natin, sabi doon, copy the base and add the exponents. The exponent of x here is 4, plus your exponent here, which is 1, plus 1. And then for the variable x, you have y raised to 3, plus 4. Tatandaan nyo yun eh. And then for the variable z, Originally, may lang tayo invisible 1. You have 1 plus 3. And simplify mo lang ito. This will give you 30. X raised to 5. Y raised to 7. And Z raised to 7. Tuloy, Z tuloy na sulat ko. Z raised to 4. This is a simplified form of item number 4. Now, for item number 5 naman, guys. We have here the expression, the quantity of 4, a raised to 4, b raised to 5, over c raised to 2, d raised to 3, raised to 2, and then times the quantity of c raised to 5, d, e raised to 6, over 3, a raised to 2, b raised to 3, raised to 3. Kung kapansin nyo, diba, dito pala sa part na to, may hirap na siyang tignan or sagutan, syempre. Tapos nagkaroon pa tayo ng another product here. Kung saan kailangan natin silang i-multiply after natin simplify ito. So, one by one natin gagawin. Medyo hinihingal ako sa ating given kasi dami. So, syempre, ano, uh, mag-skip tayo ng isang step. Pero ito pa rin yung concept natin. Uh, ito pa rin yung concept natin at ito pa rin yung tama pa rin makuha natin sa God. So, dito, apply mo na natin yung power for power. Sabi ko kanina sa power for power, you need to multiply the exponents sa mga base natin. So, mag-focus muna tayo rito. Focus muna tayo rito. For the base of 4, you have 4 raised to 1 times 2. This is rid natin yung exponent. And then for the variable a, you have a raised to 4 times 2. For the variable b, you have b raised to 5, raised to 5 by times 2. So, saan ko nang yung 2? Ito pong exponent natin sa labas, ay din distribute natin isa-isa sa exponent ng base natin. Over, sa denominator naman, you have your C raised to 2 times 2, and then D raised to 3 times 2. Yan. Distribute natin siya. Now, for this expression naman, same pattern din naman, itong 3 natin, unti-unti natin i-multiply yung exponent sa ating expression. You have C raised to 5 times 3. For D raised to 1 times 3. And then E raised to 6 times 3. Over 3 raised to 1 times 3. And then A raised to 2 times 3. Tapos B raised to 3 times 3. After natin ma-distribute lahat ng exponent, kung kapansin nyo, di ba, wala na sila sa labas. Ito naman yung paproblemahin natin. We need to simplify the exponent by multiplying it. You have 4 
raised to 2, your A raised to 8, 5 times 2, you have B raised to 10, over C raised to 4, and D raised to 6. Ito na yun. Simplified na. For the other expression, you have C raised to 15, kasi 5 times 3. D raised to 3. C, sorry, that is E raised to 18 over 3 raised to 3. A raised to 6. Tama? A raised to 6. And then B raised to 9. So, pag nag-multiply tayo dito, mangyayari niyan. Yung multiply mo yung numerator sa numerator nito at yung kay denominator, kay denominator. So, ang ginagawa lang naman dito, uh, mag-skip tayo na sa step. Kung kapasin niyo, di ba? Meron tayong letter A sa numerator at meron tayong letter A sa denominator. Kasi niyo mabuti, ha? Ito muna pala yung 4 squared. That is 16. Nagyan na 16. Ngayon, ito kasi, again, sa so sinasabi ko kanina, baka malito kayo, hindi na kasi kasya sa board natin. Yung multiply nyo yung numerator, itong part na to, dito, eto dito. At mangyayari, meron tayong simplified form. Which is, para makuha natin yun, ang gawin nyo na lang, itong A natin, kunin mo yung A, ayun yung variable A, and then subtract mo yung exponents mo. 8 minus 6. 8 minus 6. For the variable B, you have 10 minus... 9. Yan tayo itong 9. And then for the variable C, you have C raised to 15 minus 4. Ayan na. 15 minus 4. Tapos yung D mo naman is 3 minus... What is that? 6. Tapos yung 18 mo, E raised to 18 minus... Wala. Wala siya kapare. So, 18 na lang siya. Over yung 3 raised to 3 mo, that is 27. Okay? Simplify natin to. You have 16. You have 16. A raised to 2. B, kasi 1 na lang siya. For the variable C, that is C raised to 11, kasi 15 minus 4. For the variable D, 3 minus 6, that is D raised to negative 3, tapos E raised to 18 over 27. So, sa haba, sa kinahaba-haba ng solution natin, hindi pa tayo tapos. As you can see, the, the, the exponent of your variable D is a negative exponent. So, kailangan natin gawin siyang positive. Para maging positive siya, kailangan mabago yung pwesto niya. Kung siya yung nasa numerator, to make it positive, dalhin mo siya sa denominator. So, the final answer is simply 16, A raised to 2, B, C raised to 11, E raised to 18, o oh, wala na yung letter D natin kasi negative, ilalagay natin sa ilalim, that is 27, D raised to 3. This is the correct answer for item number 5. So di ba, medyo komplikado, at mahirap talaga sa unang tingin, pero kapag pinalo mo yung rules on how to simplify exponents, what makuha mo rin siya. So, if you have any question about this topic, pwede kayo mag-comment down below. And if you have any requested topic na gusto nyo discuss natin within this channel, pwede din kayo mag-comment sa ating comment section. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!